Land for Simeon. The second part of the land was given to the tribe of Simeon. Each family group received some of the land. It was inside the area of Judah. They received Beersheba, also called Sheba, Molada, Hazarshual, Bala, Izem, Eltalad, Bethul, and Horma. They also received Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susa, Beth Labaith, and Cheruhan. There were thirteen towns and all their fields. They also received the towns of An, Ruman, Ether, and Ishan. There were four towns and all their fields. They also received all the very small areas with people living in them as far as Baalath Beer. This is the same as Ramah in southern Canaan. So these were the lands given to the tribe of Simeon. Each family group received some of the land. The land of the Simeonites was taken from part of the land of Judah. Judah had much more land than they needed. So the Simeonites received part of their land. Land for Zebulun. The third part of the land was given to the tribe of Zebulun. Each family group of Zebulun received some of the land. The border of Zebulun went as far as Sarad. Then it went west to Merila and came near Dabasheth. Then it went near Janium. Then it turned to the east. It went from Sarad to the area of Kisloth Tabor. From there it went on to Dabaroth and to Japhia. It continued eastward to Gath Heper and Eth Kazan. Then it ended at Ruman. Then the border turned and went toward Ni. At Ni it turned again and went to the north. It went to Hanathon and continued to the valley of Ephtael. Inside this border were the cities of Kadath, Nahalal, Shimron, Idala, and Bethlehem. There were twelve towns and all their fields. So these are the towns and the areas that were given to Zebulun. Each family group received some of the land. Land for Issachar. The fourth part of the land was given to the tribe of Issachar. Each family group of Issachar received some of the land. Their land included Jezreel, Keselath, Shinnam, Hapharim, Shin, and Anaharoth, Rabbath, Kishon, Abez, Ramath, and Ganim, and Hadda, and Beth Pazay. The border of their land touched the area called Tabor, Shahazuma, and Beth Shemesh. It stopped at the Jordan River. There were sixteen towns and their fields. These cities and towns were part of the land that was given to the tribe of Issachar. Each family group received part of this land. Land for Asher. The fifth part of the land was given to the tribe of Asher. Each family group of Asher received some of the land. Their land included Helkoth, Holly, Bitten, Akshaf, Alamelik, Amit, and Mishal. The western border touched Mount Carmel and Shearlibnath. Then it turned toward the east. It went to Beth Dagon. It touched Zebulun and the valley of Ephtael. Then it went north of Beth Emek and Neil. It passed north to Kabul. Then it went to Abdon, Rehob, Haman, and Kana. It continued to Greater Sidon. Then the border went back south toward Rama. It continued to the strong, walled city of Tyre. Then it turned and went toward Hosea. It ended at the sea. This was in the area of Aksab, Umma, Afek, and Rehob. There were twenty-two towns and their fields. These cities and their fields were part of the land that was given to the tribe of Asher. Each family group in that tribe received some of this land. Land for Naphtali. The sixth part of the land was given to the tribe of Naphtali. Each family group of Naphtali received some of the land. The border of their land started at the large tree in the area of Zananim. This is near Helof. Then it went through Adami Nakeb and Jabneel. It continued to the area of Lakum and ended at the Jordan River. Then it went to the west through Aznoth Tabor. It stopped at Hukok. It went to the area of Zebulun on the south. And it went to the area of Asher on the west. It went to Judah, at the Jordan River, on the east. There were some strong, walled cities inside these borders. Those cities were Zidim, Zer, Hamath, Rocketh and Kinnereth, Adamah, Ramah, Hazer, Kadesh, Edrei, and Enhazer, Iron, Migdalel, Horam, Bethanath, and Beth Shemesh. There were nineteen towns and all their fields. The cities and the towns around them were in the land that was given to the tribe of Naphtali. Each family group in that tribe got some of this land. Land for Dan. The seventh part of the land was given to the tribe of Dan. Each family group of Dan received some of the land. Their land included Zorah, Eshtadl, Ir Shemesh, Shalabin, Ijalan, and Ithla, Elon, Timna, Ekron, LTK, Jibathon, Baalath, Jihad, Baini Barak, and Gath Ruman, Mejarkin, Rakan, and the area near Joppa. But the Danites had trouble taking their land. There were strong enemies there. 
and the Danites could not easily defeat them. So the Danites went and fought against Leshem. They defeated Leshem and killed the people who lived there. So the Danites lived in the town of Leshem. They changed its name to Dan because he was the father of their tribe. All of these cities and towns were given to the tribe of Dan. Each family group got part of this land. Land for Joshua. So the Israelite leaders finished dividing the land and giving it to the different tribes. After they finished, all the Israelites decided to give Joshua son of Nun some land, too. This was land that had been promised to him. The Lord had commanded that he be given this land. So they gave Joshua the town of Timnath Sarah in the mountains of Ephraim. This was the town that Joshua told them he wanted. So he built up the town and lived there. So all of these lands were given to the different tribes of Israel. Eliezer the priest, Joshua's son of Nun and the leaders of each tribe worked together. They divided up the land while they were at Shiloh. They met before the Lord at the entrance to the meeting tent to do this. Now they had finished dividing the land. Cities of safety. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Tell the Israelites to choose the special cities of safety. This is what I had Moses command you to do. A person might kill someone accidentally and without meaning to kill him. He may go to a city of safety to hide. There he will be safe from the relative who has the duty of punishing a murderer. This is what he must do. When he runs to one of those cities, he must stop at the entrance gate. He must stand there and tell the leaders of the people what happened. Then they will allow him to enter the city. They will give him a place to live among them. But the one who is chasing him might follow him to that city. If this happens, the leaders of the city must not give him up. They must protect the person who came to them for safety. They must protect him because he killed that person accidentally. He was not angry and did not decide ahead of time to kill the person. He should stay in the city until he has been judged by the court there. And he should stay until the high priest dies. Then he may go back to his own home in the town from which he ran away. So the Israelites chose some cities to be cities of safety. These cities were, Kadesh in Galilee in the mountains of Naphtali, Shechem in the mountains of Ephraim, Kiriath Arba, also called Hebron. In the mountains of Judah, Bezer on the east side of the Jordan River near Jericho in the desert in the land of Reuben, Ramoth in Gilead in the land of Gad, and Golan in Bashan in the land of Manasseh. Any Israelite or anyone living among them who killed someone accidentally was included. He was to be allowed to run to one of these cities of safety. Then he could be safe there and would not be killed by the relative who had the duty of punishing a murderer. He would be judged by the court in that city. Towns for the Levites The heads of the Levite families went to talk to Eliezer the priest. They also talked to Joshua son of Nun and to the heads of the families of all the tribes of Israel. This happened at the town of Shiloh in the land of Canaan. The heads of the Levite families said to them, The Lord commanded Moses that you give us towns where we may live. And he commanded that you give us pastures. So the Israelites obeyed this commandment of the Lord. They gave the Levite people these towns and pastures, the Kohat family groups were part of the tribe of Levi. Some of the Levites in the Kohat family groups were from the family of Aaron the priest. To these Levites were given thirteen towns. These towns were in the areas that belonged to Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin. The other family groups of Kohat were given ten towns. These ten towns were in the areas of Ephraim, Dan, and West Manasseh. The people from the Gershon groups were given thirteen towns. They were in the land that belonged to Issachar, Asher, Naphtali and the eastern half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan. The family groups of Merari were given twelve towns. These twelve towns were in the area that belonged to Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. So the Israelites gave the Levites these towns and the pastures around them. They did this to obey the commandment that the Lord had given Moses. These are the names of the towns that came from the lands of Judah and Simeon. The first choice of towns was given to the Kohat family groups of the Levites. They gave them Kiriath Arba, also called Hebron, and all its pastures. This was in the mountains of Judah. Arba was the father of Anak. But the fields and the small towns around the city of Kiriath Arba had been given to Caleb son of Jephunneh. So they gave the city of Hebron to the descendants of Aaron. Hebron was the city of safety. They also gave them these towns, Libna, Jatir, Eshtimo, Halon, Debir, and Juttah, and Beth Shemesh. They also gave them all the pastures that were around these towns. There were nine towns given to these two groups. They also gave the people of Aaron cities that belonged to the tribe of Benjamin. 
These cities were Gibeon, Geba, Anadhoth and Almon. They gave them these four towns and all the pastures around them. So these towns were given to the priests. These priests were from the family of Aaron. The total number of towns with their pastures was thirteen. The other Kohathite family groups of the Levites were given these towns from the tribe of Ephraim, they gave them the city of Shechem from the mountains of Ephraim. Shechem was a city of safety. They also gave them Gezer, Kibzaim and Beth Haran. There were four towns and their pastures. The tribe of Dan gave them LTK, Jibathon, Ijalan and gath -Rumen. There were four towns and their pastures. The western half-tribe of Manasseh gave them Tanach and gath -Rumen. They were also given all the pastures around these two towns. So this was ten more towns and all the pastures around the towns. These were given to the rest of the Kohathite family groups. The Gershonite family groups of the Levite tribe were given these towns, the eastern half-tribe of Manasseh gave them Golan in Bashan. Golan was a city of safety. Manasseh also gave them Beesh Tara. All the pastures around these two towns were also given to the Gershonites. The tribe of Issachar gave them Kishan, Debaroth, Jarmuth and Anganim. Issachar also gave them all the pastures around these four towns. The tribe of Asher gave them Mishal, Abdon, Helkoth and Rehob. All the pastures around these four towns were also given to them. The tribe of Naphtali gave them Kadesh in Galilee. Kadesh was a city of safety. Naphtali also gave them Hamathdor and Carton. All the pastures around these two towns were also given to the Gershonites. So the Gershonite family groups received 13 towns. They also received all the pastures around these towns. The Merarite family groups, the rest of the Levites, were given these towns, the tribe of Zebulun gave them Janium, Karta, Dimna and Nahalal. All the pastures around these four towns were also given to the Merarites. The tribe of Reuben gave them Bezer, Hahaz, Kadimoth, and Mephoth. All the pastures around these four towns were also given to the Merarites. The tribe of Gad gave them Ramoth in Gilead. Ramoth was a city of safety. They also gave them Mahanaim, Heshbon and Jazer. Gad also gave them all the pastures around these four towns. So the total number of towns given to the Merarite family groups was 12. A total of 48 towns with their pastures were given to the Levites. All these towns were in the land controlled by the Israelites. Each town had pastures around it. So the Lord kept the promise he had made to the Israelites. He gave the people all the land he had promised. The people took the land and lived there. The Lord allowed them to have peace on all sides of their land. This is what he had promised to their people who lived long ago. None of their enemies defeated them. The Lord allowed the Israelites to defeat every enemy. He kept every promise he had made to the Israelites. No promises failed.